Hello, I'm Ron Schlegel. One of the most troubling things that I've encountered in my over 30 years as a practicing psychotherapist is teenage depression and suicide. In this video, I'm reaching out both to the teenager and to the responsible adults. Both parties have to be involved in monitoring a teenager's mental health. I'm offering this video for informational purposes only. In no way is this video meant to be a substitute for professional care. I hope what I have to offer will be of some help. Please watch all the way through to hear the five actions one can take to conquer depression. Here are the five signs of teenage depression I have looked for in my own practice. Sign number one, pulling away from family and friends. Being alone most of the time and doing things such as listening to sad music, sitting alone in the dark. When a person isolates, their mind tends to travel down a negative path. It can then get deeper and harder to get out of that negative way of thinking. Number two, continuous low mood for a prolonged period of time. Crying for seemingly no reason, little or no enjoyment of things that don't bring the same joy and happiness they once used to, not eating, either sleeping too much or too little. Number three, feelings of helplessness, hopelessness, unhappiness, loneliness, worry, guilt, being fearful, etc., that last for more than a few weeks. These feelings can be common in adolescence, but how long they last is what to watch for. Number four, being in trouble or intolerant of others. This can be due to hormonal changes and the challenges of growing up, but it can also be related to a prolonged period of depression. Number five, ongoing morbid and disturbing thoughts. Obsession with what is wrong in the world. Suicidal thoughts and feelings. So try to be open and honest about the five signs I mentioned above. Sometimes we're so afraid of the truth, we don't allow ourselves to see it. If you have any doubt, seek professional help. Now let's get on to what we can do. Talk. An adolescent often strongly resists talking, but this is a thing that can be a matter of life and death. I have seen over and over again how when the adolescent talks about their deepest, most troubling thoughts and feelings, they almost immediately begin the process of healing and improving their mood. They do have to have a sincere and caring person to listen to them, not one who will make them feel guilty about what they think and feel, but rather someone who sincerely cares and is willing to listen without judgment. That is why a professional can be a better choice at first. Family members may find it difficult to stay neutral, compassionate, and objective. Blame or judgment on anyone's part tends to slow progress rather than encourage it. Get professional help, both medical and psychological. Physical and mental health are both important areas to be addressed. There can be hormonal and other medical concerns that are impacting the teenager's mood. Work out emotions and difficulties. Life is challenging for anyone, but more so for adolescents because they are just starting out in this world and have not necessarily developed strong coping skills. As one works through emotions and life challenges, 
one gains stronger coping skills and will feel more confident in who they are and how they can address problems that arise. Participate in activities that improve mood. It may not be easy to get out of a slump, but making an effort to do something that one might enjoy can really begin the process of healing. Reducing the number of hours in a day that one is sad or depressed goes a long way in changing the course and duration of depression. I should also mention that it is important to eat a healthy diet and get a good night's sleep. However, sleeping too much can be a problem as well. Develop friendships that support mental health. It is amazing how quickly a friend can improve one's mood. The feelings of being accepted is wonderful. It is important to find friends who we have something in common with. Choose friends that make you feel good, not bad. This may take time, but it is well worth it. Group counseling can be helpful because it shows teenagers they're not alone. And they end up finding out how much they have in common with others rather than being the only one. They can realize that having strong feelings and challenges in life is normal. It's not a sign that there is something wrong with them. Keep in mind, it's not about doing everything all at once. What matters is doing something that makes the most sense in your situation. The important thing is to not give up. There are options and there is hope. If you found this video helpful, click the like button. You can also gain access to my other educational videos related to mental health by subscribing to my channel. Best wishes.